Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in for this final video in the leadership class. Let me start off by saying that it's been my pleasure to participate in this experience with you. I've really enjoyed checking out the comments and people's responses online, and I hope that you found a lot of value in this collective learning environment. Uh, if anything has been helpful to you, it'll probably be helpful for someone else as well. So feel free to share these posts with others who might be interested. I want to leave you with one important thought. Leadership is about people, not power. I was enamored by power early on in my ministry training. I loved forceful preaching and praying. I loved watching people visibly react to the power of ministry that rests on God's leaders. I went to meetings where leaders would pray and people, their physical bodies would be affected by the prayers. Once I saw a leader throw his finger towards the other side of the room and, and watched an unsuspecting person dozens of yards away get hit by that power and double over weeping, I was hooked, man. I wanted the power. So I totally related to James and John. Jesus, Jesus named them the sons of thunder. Sounds pretty awesome, right? In Luke chapter 9, Jesus was sending messengers ahead into Samaria to prepare for his arrival but the Samaritans didn't receive Jesus. So James and John were like, Master, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? I mean, these were my kind of guys. Like Elisha in the Old Testament when the kids were making fun of his bald spot and he cursed them so a bear came out of the wilderness and ate them. Love it. But the last 15 years have taught me some lessons. While the power of leadership can be fun, and at times awesome, it is for a purpose. It is to serve people. When leadership becomes about just the exercise of power, it becomes useless. This was Jesus' response to James and John. You do not know what kind of spirit you are of. For the Son of Man did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Leadership is always about men's lives, not about display of power. The question is, what are you using your power for? Most of my life, I wanted to, to, to separate leadership from people. I wanted to go do something awesome, but I wasn't concerned about building the people around me. At the close of this series, let me leave you with one final challenge. Make your leadership about people. Use the power entrusted to you to make a difference in the lives of people around you. If you do that, the power entrusted to you will know no bounds and your leadership will excel to levels that you've never dreamed of. It's been my pleasure to spend this time with you and I wish you all the best in developing your leadership potential.